This is the Tanika Catchings film room. room. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. No, this is in ah. honor of you. No joke. Oh, thank you. This is why I want you to see this. This, this, is, awesome. is, this is this is to honor you yeah. and all you meant to this team. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. yeah. Wow. We fought through adversity. We constantly change the narrative of who we are, and we're gonna keep doing it. It's all been about laying the foundation, building from the bottom all the way up, starting with culture, starting with the right people, an environment where there's a commitment to excellence. And so I feel real good about where we are today. We've improved, we've won more games, we're competitive, we never quit. All the things that I value and all the things that I think the people that <clears throat> I've brought into this program value. Four years ago when I became the president of the Fever, we sketched out a strategic focus for the franchise and the first word was commit. You know, how do we commit to be the best people we can be on our team? How can we commit to being the best franchise for women's sports in the state of Indiana? How can we commit to creating an environment and a facility and bringing in resources so that the players who are drafted here and the players who choose to come here through free agency say this, you know what, the thing about the Fever is they're really committed to the important things about player success, in order to be successful, a sustained success, I think you have to have leadership at the top. You have to have a commitment from the top. And I feel like uh, Herb and Steve Simon, three years ago, they made a commitment to fully renovate a Gamebridge built house. And during that renovation, it was how can we enhance and improve the resources and the facilities that the Fever had. So in order to build the new Fever locker room, we raised the practice court up about 20 feet and built an entirely new structure underneath it. So it's a building within a building. And we were lucky enough to have the insights of Tamika, who as a player has been in every locker room, probably both WNBA and then facilities all over the world. She has four Olympic gold medals. She's certainly seen a lot of locker rooms in her time in college and pro. And then Kelly Kroskoff helped us with it as well. Um, she was already on the Pacer side, but certainly has a great knowledge of what makes a good locker room. You know, we also had Lynn Dunn and others helping us sort of map it out. The hope of the locker room was to give us a reflection of our history, but at the same time have space for the future. So we wanted to honor the greats, wanted to make sure that those people that set the foundation for the fever were represented, but at the same time, we didn't want it to just be a look back. So we left space to include images of our, our current players and to show their personalities. It's very easy to just put the logo everywhere and make it clean, but we wanted it to be warm. We wanted it to feel like, you know, a space that they wanted to be in. I can't imagine as a player when you walk into that locker room and when you just have the feel and you can feel the love within the space, the investment that Pacer Sports and Entertainment has been has put in to the fever, the Simon family, Rick Fusen and his team and Mel and everybody. It's been amazing. We have everything we could ever want right here from the practice court to the locker room the new state-of-the-art arena that's all connected, as well as the player housing that's basically right down the street. So really everything you could ever want with all the resources under one roof. Hello, come on in. I'm Lexi, welcome to my apartment. So this is home. It's nice, super close to the gym. Um, beautiful kitchen, as you can see. Put a lot of work in here. Um, yeah, this is, I spend a lot of time here between this, my couch with Netflix on the TV, and the pool and the gym. That's 
pretty much where you'll find me. Um, so this is the spot, way there. Um, I have a mirror. Check out my outfits, make sure the premium fit looks good. Um, my favorite school in the world. Also, I did the artwork here, so if you want one, let me know. Closet, we're not opening that to fill the luggage, so you don't need to see that. Oh, um, made this, really cute. We grow basketball here in Indianapolis. Um, nice bathroom. It's got everything you need, lots of storage. Um, and then super convenient is having the washer and dryer right in the closet and lots of space. So I've clearly accumulated a little too much stuff, um, but we make it work. The stacking, I still got space, so a lot of room. Um, then the bedroom. Got my books everywhere. I put these up and then it goes right there so that it's like black. So I get my goods pretty massive. So on a game day, it's at 7, we'll have a shoot around at like 11. So I'll wake up at like 9.30, make breakfast, and then head to the gym at like 10.30. It's literally like a three minute walk. So super convenient. Uh, and then come back, chill, watch the Netflix, um, take a nap, and then head back to the gym around 4.30. And we're good to go. Damn. Pacer Sports and Entertainment have invested in our team and in our players uh, and our staff, um, and they want to hire the best people possible to put our players in a position to be successful. And I can't thank them enough for that. You know, we're working and it's a process and we're not gonna skip any steps. Back in 2012, I was probably the, let's say the jack of all trades person. You just kind of did what you had to do and you wore multiple hats and and everybody just pitched in and kind of did everything. I'm usually running all over the place on game days or practice days because I have to do so much with setup and helping the coaching staff, helping our assistant GM and our GM. Being able to have everything so condensed in an area helps me be more efficient with my role. This year we also implemented the breakfast and lunch buffets every day that they're here practicing so they also don't need to go worry about where they're getting lunch or food for fueling after practices. The locker room is crazy. It's super nice. Um, weight room super nice. When I was here my first year we didn't have all this. Indiana Fever is investing in their players and um, care about their bodies and care about making us feel at home. Our fans are engaged, they believe in the future of the franchise. Our sponsors are here in full force. We're back in the field house. We're young right now, so it's kind of cool to look in the front and see all of the players that have come even before me, to see them on the wall and represented. And now it's like I'm one of those old people. <laughs> and one, that, one day they will be too, so they will understand, but it's truly an honor. I mean, our company, you know, motto is winning, serving, entertaining, and winning is first for a reason. And we've got this great storied franchise with a winning history, and we want to bring it back to that point. So we're all in, right? I'm at every Fever game. We want to do whatever that, that takes to get back to that level. We want to be in the playoffs every year. We want to compete every year. That's clear. If you're not careful, we're going to bite you in the butt and win a championship. That's who we're supposed to be. Yeah, don't overlook the fever. You better keep an eye on the fever. We're serious. We're dead serious about getting back into the playoffs. We're serious about moving on up the ladder. We're serious about competing for a championship. And we're serious about bringing free agents and future draft prospects into this franchise that have that same desire. You know, come in here and help us win a championship because that's what we're doing.